I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Hi everyone, my name's Angie. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're really enjoying these travel vlogs so far. I've had fun making them for you. Uh, this is a little cottage that we stayed at for two nights in St. Mary, Georgia. It was called the Mary Mermaid Cottage. It was decorated so cute. It was like a kind of a whimsical type of style. And it was located only a few minutes from downtown, which was good because we were going to be getting on the ferry to go over to Cumberland Island in the morning. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way. Up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way. Up and I won't. Stop, I won't slow down Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke, yeah And I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let my... Downtown St. Mary's seemed to be pretty small There was only a handful of shops and restaurants but we ended up um, eating at the Southern River Walk, and I had gotten some seafood there, and it was pretty good. So here we are uh, kind of exploring the area that evening. We decided to drive downtown and just kind of like go through some shops, and not everything was open when we got there. Um, we ate, and then we went through a few of the shops down there. What it's like to be broken and I know what it's like when nothing goes The next day that we got to the ferry at 11:30 and it was set to leave at 11:45. There are two different times that you can get on the ferry to go over to Cumberland Island. One's at 9 a.m. and one's at 11:45. And there are three times that you can come back, the latest being 4:45. You don't want to miss the last one because there's no place for you to go if you get stuck there. This ferry did not transport vehicles over and they didn't transport animals. So we did notice people bringing their own bikes when they came and also wagons with camping gear and different things. Hi guys, we just got to Cumberland Island. And it is, I think, 68, 70 out right now, so it's perfect weather. And we're looking at the beautiful trees and scenery and the beautiful horses that run wild here. So we're going to explore, walk around and explore the park, and we'll probably do a walking tour of the area because we've never been here before. But it's very pretty. Historic mansion ruins are part of the historic district. In 1880, the property was purchased by Thomas Carnegie, who began to build a new mansion on the site. It was a 59 room Queen Anne style home. His wife Lucy continued to live there after his death in 1886. 
The Carnegies moved out of the home in 1925, and in 1959, it was destroyed by a fire alleged to be arson. 90% of Cumberland Island was owned by the Carnegies, and today there's still an inn called Grayfield Inn that is owned by the Carnegies. The inn has 15 rooms and is around $600 a night. On September 21st, 1996, that was the location of John F. Kennedy Jr. and Carolyn Bassett's wedding. Cumberland Island offers guests more than 17 miles of secluded white sandy beaches. The next morning we ate breakfast at Buenos Dias and it was very good. So today is Tuesday, April 18th. Yesterday we went to Cumberland Island and it was a beautiful day out. I think it was like around 72 out. We saw three armadillo and probably like five, five or six horses. What was your favorite part of to Cumberland Island they have I guess they have like hunt, they have hunting, camping, bike riding. Um, I didn't see the campsite but I guess a lot of people bring camping gear and stay there. Uh, they had free, free walking tours. For two people it was $90 for a round trip on the ferry to get there. There's no restaurants there and there's no um, shops or anything. Once you get to the island, you have to bring it, everything over with you. So, um, like you need to bring your own drinks, food, and stuff like that for while you're there. Pack in, pack in. So if you bring any trash over, you have to take tr the trash with you. There's no trash cans. Uh, you can bring your bike, you, and, and I guess they did rent bikes, but they're not renting them right now for some reason. So, um, but they have like hiking trails, they've got a lot of beach area, uh, you can go swimming there. The scenery 
scenery there is really pretty. The horses are wild, so they let you get pretty close to them, but they tell you not to get too close. We just kind of, you know, leave them alone. But I guess there's a lot of wild animals there. Like she mentioned coyotes and bobcats and that come out at night. And then also she mentioned turkeys. I'm trying to think of what else she mentioned. I think there's like deer. We saw antlers on the ground. But we, we just saw armadillos and horses while we were there. Um, there's a lot of picnic tables around. We just brought our own picnic and ate there. So it ended up being a nice day, but we're on our way to Savannah and I'm gonna read on the way there and then we'll check back in. So it's 12 o'clock and we're, well, where we were in St. Mary, Mary is an hour and 40 minutes from Savannah. So we're going to spend the day in Savannah today and then tomorrow we're going to head to Charleston and then we'll 